Hey Mitch here making a demo of a server I made with some help from the 21.co open source libraries. Um, so this server you can read and write to. Um, so this storage folder isn't mounted locally, it's mounted to a server in Singapore. So when I do an ls I do some uh, interesting get requests and so I'll kind of show you what they look like here. So this gives back some details about the file hello world. Uh, it has, so it has 23 bytes for instance. It's kind of similar to if I do a stat. And so the thing about this server is that, and you can see here 23 bytes, 23 bytes. Um, the thing about this server is that you get charged per byte of read and write. So it's like a millionth of a dollar per byte. And with um, the block, with Bitcoin blockchain and with some 21.co stuff, um, you can do um, relatively cheap um, transaction costs in that you can get it. So the marginal cost of most of your transactions is zero. So um, I'm going to do a cat because we want to read our file. But before I do that, I'll show you what the web request looks like. So we want 23 bytes. Um, Verbose. And so you can see here we get um, 402 payment required um, and a price. And so this is one Satoshi. It should actually be less. It should be a um, slightly less than one Satoshi, but it rounds up because you can't divide Satoshis right now. Uh, it gives an address payment channel. So what payment channels are is they're, um, they're kind of like bar tabs. Like you kind of post collateral at the start of the night and then every time you buy a beer, you take a little bit off the tab and then at the end of the night, you settle. Um, and so it's kind of like that where you um, announce kind of your collateral to the network. Um, but then when you're just trading with this other person, you don't broadcast that to the network. You, you guys only broadcast the settled amount. And so you only do two transactions to the network, no matter how many transactions you do within the channel. And so the marginal cost of the in-channel transactions are, are zero. So whether you do a billion or three, you kind of pay the same amount. So here's a channel we have open with. The payments at the moment. Um, you can see we deposited 100,000 Satoshis um, that we could potentially spend. We don't have to, we can kind of quit whenever we want. And we spent um, kind of 3,400 um, right now. And so if you kind of um, look at that address, this is what the server thinks it has. Um, so it thinks that's 3,400 which it does. Um, so if we were to go like channels close right now, it would get its money, we get ours. Or if we were to do another transaction, let's say we lost, well, we spent another Satoshi, this would go down to 71, I mean 70, <laughs> and this would be 34, 30. Um, yeah, and so I guess let's do that. So if we um, do a cat now, um, we can see here, um, so we got the 402 back like normal, one Satoshi, and then we did a put request on that payment, um, the payment route we saw before, uh, and we got a 200 back from that, and basically we made the payment, and you can't see here, it doesn't show this final one, but we purchase it, and then with that proof of purchase, we essentially um, do a thing like this with the proof of purchase in the header, and then we get back um, what's in the file. And so if we um, do this again, this should be 34, 30. Um, and if we look at our channels list, uh, this is one less. So we paid one Satoshi, we got a read, that's great. Um, here we can see that this is slightly misspelled, so maybe we should fix that. Um, one thing that's not very good at doing is writing directly into the storage folder um, because there's a lot of interesting things that happen with swap and stuff in the background of your local computer and it starts kind of playing havoc with um, with the mounted one and so it's generally best at the moment obviously you should, we should well, I should fix this um, but at the moment it tends to be easier to um, write it somewhere else and then move it into storage so you can see here, it's kind of updating itself, and making sure everything is okay. Um, okay, so we can move it. It's gonna ask if we wanna overwrite. Uh, 
um, we hopefully should see another um, request come because this is a write. And yep, so we did a write. Um, so here we yeah, did a put. Um, so yeah, this is how we update. We tried to do a put, we got a 402 back, we made the payment, we did a put again. Um, this time we would have done it with the receipt basically. Um, and then it's successfully done. Once again, if we go back here, it's getting repetitive, but there's one more in there. Um, and if we look at our file now, I think that's right. Hopefully it's doing a lot of requests. Okay, we're not even gonna do that. We're just gonna go onto the server. This is the actual server in, in Singapore. Um, and so if we look at the Hello World now, it's uh, fixed. Hello, uh, um, yeah. So um, yeah, there's links below. Um, it's all available on GitHub and it, it's actually really straightforward to run. I thought it'd be complicated, but they make it really easy. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.